Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now if there's a brand whose sunglasses I've come to absolutely rely on, well, it's Oakley, but Oakley for me, unfortunately, it's kind of like a love-hate relationship. I love their glasses, I love the general performance, and I love how they protect my eyes, the clarity, the fit, the style. But what I hate is, well, they kind of go bad after a while. And I know that sounds sort of funny, but things happen. Like for example, on polarized lenses, the coatings tend to kind of flake off. Then on the ear socks, they get all weird and gummy. And especially if you've like left them in the heat or maybe used something just like rubbing alcohol to try to keep them clean. So today I'm gonna rehab these. These here are the flak jacket had them kicking around for a while but I will not put these on my face it's just gross I mean they're just gummy and weird they've been hanging up and doing nothing and I'm like well hey we got the people here at MRY who have different sunglass accessory and solutions for your glasses so multiple different Oakley models and in today's case we're going to specifically look at the flak jacket so what we're going to do we're going to look at these in a little bit of detail I'm going to strip them down clean them up then we're going to get these outfit with the MRY components to get these back into good practical service and so with that said I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you and if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into do me a favor stay tuned Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at MRY who did provide these for review. So here, as we take a look at these flak jacket sunglasses, generally speaking, in decent overall condition, but it's the little things like, you know, when you look at the inside, these lenses have specks. Now, you might not pick up on it, but those specks are kind of like etched into the lenses. And there's like flaking sections where, and I don't know if it's like the polarized part of the lens or what, but when my glasses sit around for a while and I keep them in a real nice case and everything, they just, they fall apart. I don't get it. It's just really, really frustrating. Then when we take a look at these ear socks, they're just like gummy. They're like almost oily like oil is pouring out of them i mean that's not sweat that's the oils of the rubber literally coming out it's just a pain in the neck and i'm like you know what these just need a little redo so here with mry now we've taken a look at mry products in the past i've actually already rehabbed a couple of sets of glasses here on my channel but today we're going to take a look at this in a couple of different ways now you can see all the old components from all the other glasses that we've already taken a look at so it's like at this point pretty much like all the other sets of lenses that i've swapped out on other glasses but today well here first we have some new rubber so the rubber kit so that's awesome so here we have a rubber kit which i'm hoping is going to do exactly what i need it to do and then the lenses so these are the xlj 24 karat polarized mirrored lenses and i don't know are these xlj i can't really tell i don't know if that's gonna matter it says flak uh, I hope these are the right parts we're going to find out. So as we go through this, again, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to strip down the old pair. And you'll see they're so like oily that these just want to pull off easily. So no problem there. I'm going to have to be very careful cleaning this up. Now, my initial go-to would be something simple like rubbing alcohol. But the last time I did that, it completely stripped off the finish and they went from a polished finish to like a white cloudy finish. So that just is not going to work. So here, let's see, I have to figure out, I think I need to kind of pop the arms off here. So I do need to be a little bit careful, but we'll start certainly with what I know. So there you go there. The nose pieces, these come off. So that's going to be another replacement piece that I get with this uh, rubber kit from MRY. Literally just going to twist and pop this out. There we go. There we go. At this point, the rubber will come off easily. And again, just gummy. 
oily and gross. So these are all now trash. Look at this in a little more detail. You can just see how yucky these are. Gross. And now to remove the lenses, basically just going to grab onto the frame, buy a little space, and these pop right out. So that's not too bad at all. So at this point, I guess a little dish soap and water and we'll clean everything up. We'll come back and we'll do the reassembly. And so with everything cleaned up, that did seem to work just fine. So again, little just uh, dish soap and water, some Q-tips got into all the little cracks, cleaned everything up and these are actually looking really good. These are back to, and I'm not gonna say factory fresh by any means, but man, uh, massive, massive difference. So I'm already feeling pretty good about this. So let's get into some of the components here from MRY. Again, a full rubber kit. So this should have everything we need to put these back together. So at this point, we're gonna get the actual ear socks. So the ear socks themselves. Then we have sort of the accent pieces, which you can see here. Then we end up with two different sets of nose pieces, which is awesome because if you're like me and you have Oakley glasses, you know these things go missing easily. So to have an extra set, that's awesome. And you can see they're marked right hand and left hand side. The actual lenses here, 24 karat gold polarized mirrored lenses. Now I opted for the gold because I thought it would just pop and look really good against the black. And you'll notice I went with all black components to keep everything nice and dark. And then you have a ton of different options. Now, don't think that, you know, by any means you're stuck with any of these color combinations. That is absolutely not the case. There are a huge number of different options out there. So depending on your liking, uh, polarized, non-polarized, uh, mirrored, and then, you know, here, of course, I said gold, and they just have so many different colors to choose from. So a lot of beautiful options here. But the gold mirrored tint, the camera does not do it justice. These look really, really good. I love that color. You're gonna have to wait for the field use footage to see these outside, but that gold is beautiful. It says polarized down in the bottom. I'm gonna try to minimize my fingerprints here. But let's start working on establishing the ear socks. So again, these are gonna be right hand and left hand specific. So as we take a look here, this is going to be the right hand side. I actually just literally get a tiny little bit of spit inside there and that's enough to slide this on easily. I don't know if that's the uh, official way to do it, but I can tell you that's the way I do it so that they don't slip around. Uh, and then in the future, that will definitely dry out no problem and be just fine. So seem to be sliding on fairly easily. A little bit tight at the end, but no problem and a perfect fit. So right away, that's a good sign. Literally perfect fit there. And then the accent pieces here. I don't know. This can probably just push its way on. Hopefully fairly straightforward. Yeah, that's gonna go easy, no worries there. And again, just paying attention to the right hand and left hand side, but that seems to be about perfect. So again, that's looking good. So this arm is complete, very simple. That's nice. Repeating the exact same process here for the left hand side. And so no problem, well fit, everything about these going about as perfect as you could ask. Everything seems to be fit up just nicely, looking the part and completely rehabbing these arms. So that's great. At this point, I can kind of pop these back onto the sunglasses. Little adjustment to the rubber here. Trying to make sure that it's out of the way of the hinge. It's tight, but it is, I would say, precise enough. Just might take a little bit of adjustment there, but there you go. So that looks good. Same thing with the other side, just setting it in kind of crooked. A little bit of a twist here to get it to 
seat into place and no problem. So there we go. We're getting somewhere. To clarify, the nose pieces do appear to be two different sizes. So there's a slightly larger nose piece and a smaller. So you can see here on the left hand side, that one's larger on the right hand side. That one is smaller. I'm actually, I don't know. I'm going to go with the larger ones for now, just for the sake of the argument. So the right hand and left hand nose pieces, uh, we're going to get these popped into place. So it should be pretty straightforward right hand side. They just kind of like hook on. And that's why these things just go missing. Almost as soon as you put these on, they go missing. So kind of got to be a little bit careful to make sure those hooks go all the way on. But there we have it. Right hand and left hand side. And so you can see they do go into place fairly easy. Again, I'll probably lose these about right away. Dry fitting these on my face, I can tell you I probably wanted to go with the smaller ones. So that was a quick little trial run for nothing. So now I'm going to go with the smaller pads and go with the same installation process. And now you can see the smaller pads in place. So these feel like they went very well. The lenses, of course, being right hand and left hand side. I'm going to try to minimize the amount that I get my fingers all over these, but there's probably going to be not much I can do. Getting these into the corner and then spreading the frame, popping these into place. These do feel a little bit stubborn going in. I did find that MRY lenses tend to be a little bit thicker than the factory Oakley lenses. So let's take a look at these side by side real quick. These are both the right hand lens. And as we take a look here, it's hard to say. They seem to be generally about the same. I would say the MRY do appear to be a little bit thicker. So hopefully that's not a problem getting them installed. We'll take a look here and give it a try. But I do think the MRY are just a touch thicker. So fitment might be a little bit of an issue. I think I gotta not worry so much about the fingerprints at this point. I'm kinda just stuck getting these things all kinds of gumped up, but let's see. I'm trying to get these seated down and inside the frame. This one's definitely stubborn, does not really want to go. Just doesn't, doesn't want to go. Uh, oh, I got it. So I had to kind of rock the lens. So here's the thing. I had to grab it and twist it into place on this side to get this side to fit. So grab it. There it goes. And now I'll clean up the lenses. So at least the good thing is MRY did provide me with a fairly reasonable cleaning cloth. And so now at this point, I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna clean these up really nice. Then we're gonna get them outside and I'm gonna give these some quality field use. impression these lenses are a little bit on the blue side which does take a little bit of getting used to at first I was gonna say I kind of didn't like it but the more and more I wear these kind of my eyes have now settled in and adjusted and you know it's one of those things where no matter what color you put in front of your eyes over time your eyes will adjust and now that my eyes have adjusted I do have to say not too bad I actually don't mind it too much at all fairly clear uh, these do seem to be fairly clear and definitely comfortable I like this style of the glasses in the first place they vent well 
and they don't fog up too, too much in the first place. I love the gold tint. I think that tint is awesome. Just looking really, really good. And when I remove them, now everything is, of course, very, very yellow. So getting these back on, ah, much, much better. So yeah, first impressions, pretty good. I mean, great for, you know, driving. The polarized nature is very good. But let's uh, flip the camera around real quick so you can see these in a little bit of detail. Again, here, as I mentioned, you can see these are clearly very, very blue. Looking at the overall tint, it does really change things. So, you know, you can see outside, obviously, it's a bright day. They do cut down on a ton of glare. They're a nice, deep tint. But at the same time, that blue nature, it does take a little getting used to. But now you can see with the auto white balance of the camera, it does kind of take care of that. And you'll see real quick as I remove this, everything does go yellow. So that is the thing about this, it does take a little bit of getting used to, but generally speaking, pretty good in terms of the overall clarity. lenses and accessories from MRY. All in all, after a whole bunch of field use wearing these for days, well, what do I think? Generally speaking, very, very good. Overall, nice clarity. Now, I did, in all reality, have to get used to the blue tint. The blue tint is a little bit much at first, but once my eyes settle into these, it's actually very, very nice. The clarity is fantastic. I think they look great. The mirrored image and just that gold look, I think is fantastic. It actually plays off very well. I think they're stylish. I think they look good. The lenses definitely do vent. Now that's just a characteristic of this particular style of glasses in the first place, but the lens is also doing their part. In terms of the accessories, the rubber, Seeming very nice, fitting perfect, just doing its job. The nose piece is still in place and everything very comfortable. And staying on my face nicely during sort of active outdoor 
activities, things where if it was going to be a problem, my glasses would fall off, but the rubber doing a nice job. So the overall accessories and lenses from MRY at this point, I can say I can definitely recommend them. If you're looking to tune up your glasses, give them a different look, just get something back into good operational condition. That's exactly what I was able to do here today. And so again, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at MRY for providing these for review. And for the rest of you, if you like this content, do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, that channel is growing quickly. I have a ton of videos up there. So if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.